Hello. Thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to uh, go over near infrared versus far infrared sauna heat. It's the ultimate guide to um, our sa home sauna heater um, technology. So let's get started. Um, you've heard the benefits of infrared sauna. You're ready to get your sauna, but in doing your research, you see there's more than one type of infrared heater. Information overload and conflicting information has probably driven you to find the truth. Um, in this article, we will cover the significant differences between near infrared light therapy versus far infrared light therapy and the types of heaters that emit these infrared wavelengths. Near infrared is called near because it is close. It is the closest bandwidth of infrared light um, near the visible light spectrum. Near infrared is all around us today. It comes from the sun. We use it to control our TV or our mouse remotely. In the 1950s, near infrared made its debut in its first industrial application for optical devices. In the 1980s, near infrared was focused more on chemical analysis and later became a powerful scientific research tool. Traditionally, near infrared has been used in scientific laboratories and medical instruments for calibration, diagnostics, agriculture, food, and production of phar pharmaceutical compounds. Um, near infrared sauna heater lamps or red light therapy bulbs. Um, near infrared is the newest light feature for infrared saunas. At the manufacturing level, these red light bulbs are not used for health benefits so much as they are used to provide convection heat in the sauna. Most sauna companies are not calibrating their thermostats to measure the temperature at your chin. So right here, the thermostat is up here. So right at your chin, it should be the temperature that reads on the control panel. Um, so in s other companies, what they, what they haven't done is calibrated the thermostat to measure the um, temperature at your chin rather than at the ceiling. Um, it, it makes it difficult to get the whole, um, sauna cabin, the actual temperature reading, um, that's displayed on the control panel. If you don't have that, uh, thermostat calibration, um, Near infrared heat emitters are typically quartz with a reflector um, to concentrate the heat in a particular direction. Near infrared bulbs are rated 250 watts and its bulbs must be replaced every two years. Near infrared light therapy bulbs are designed to provide an intense level of near infrared light in bulb form. Due to the body's natural ability to reflect near infrared light um, to avoid damage, um, it will not cause a deep heating that is found in the comfort heating of a far infrared sauna. Uh, due to the high energy transmission and low absorption rate of near infrared, um, it, it is not effectively absorbed by, um, by the skin. It's about the size, the light particles are the size of the cells themselves, or yeah, the cells, <laughs> goodness. Um, so it's only going to really charge the surface of your skin. You're not going to induce the low grade fever that you, do um, in a far infrared um, in a far infrared environment. Um, in a far infrared environment, we lose we induce a low grade fever, and that's where a lot of the health benefits kind of come in by increasing your heart rate, increasing your um, respirations, inducing that cardiovascular workout, detoxifying your body, sweating tremendous amounts um, because your body produces far infrared light in the form of body heat at 9.4 microns and so do our heaters. So um, we're charging your body with its own energy um, and you'll get the health benefits of far infrared um, more quickly when it's exactly the bandwidth of the human body because your body has no resistance to it. And it really can't do much with the other, um, the other light within the spectrum in terms of infrared. So, you know, because we know that your near infrared is reflected by the skin, um, we know that it's not going to have as um, big effects as far infrared does. So moving on, I got kind of sidetracked there into a little um, side, side thing there. Um, so due to the high energy transmission and low absorption rate, near infrared is not effectively absorbed by the skin and body um, in high dosage and damage to the skin um, can happen. Um, there's been 
effects such as Barker's arm and glass blower's face as a result of overexposure to near infrared because your body's only capable of reflecting so much of it. Um, so it can um, pose a risk to the skin in high doses. Um, in most cases, near infrared has really only been studied in a hospital setting over the in the course of the last 10 years, specifically in the form of a laser um, to treat uh, wounds like decubitus ulcer so it's for wound healing um and they've had some success with that um but like i said it's really under strict um, medical controls in the form of a laser and it's not something um that they're applying in the form of a sauna in fact there hasn't been any studies of near infrared application in the form of um, in the form of a sauna um published there are no um recognized published documents and you can verify that information if by going to pubmed.gov um, and just searching up near infrared and the applications um, on, on the human body so I encourage you to go there it's um, pubmed.gov um, and then we'll get back on track here <laughs> um, there have been there has been a big debate over the use of near infrared in the sauna um, as to whether or not it's beneficial. The limited clinical studies of near infrared have had success using near infrared as a laser. I guess I was supposed to get to that. <laughs> um, the larger bulbs that are used in near infrared saunas don't have the ability to penetrate the body at the deeper levels that a laser can. Near infrared is only going to affect the water molecules at the surface of your skin. Far infrared is much more effective at penetrating the body and mobilizing toxins out of the body and your and your skin to achieve an overall level of homeostasis so there's more than 70 years of clinical documentation um, supporting the wide-reaching health benefits of far infrared technology and you can again research that on your own um, going to pubmed.gov um, a little history of far infrared and its application um, it is at the opposite end of the far infrared um, at the opposite end of the infrared spectrum, far meaning that it is um, far away from visible light. The only way you know it's there is when you feel the heat that it emits. Far infrared saunas were first introduced in the mid-1950s by Japanese physicians experimenting with the far infrared light as a treatment for a multitude of maladies. It's taken nearly 70 years for the far infrared sauna to take foothold in the sauna industry, but it's popular its popularity in the last few dec decades is due to its well-documented health benefits and de detoxification properties. In addition, it's used in hospital settings to treat premature babies to regulate their body temperature um, and diseases such as cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular health, even Lyme parasite, um, and a multitude of other health benefits that we'll go into in other articles. Um, how infrared works in a sauna. In a near-infrared sauna, you're getting the dry heat temperatures of the old traditional hot rock sauna and, and a cellular charging that warms the surface of the skin. You'll sweat in the sauna, but it won't induce the low-grade fever, so it won't have the same effectiveness found in far infrared. Um, a near-infrared sauna on the market today looks like a tent enclosure um, with a wooden stool. It has four to five um, red light bulbs. Um, and then those bulbs can reach temperatures of up to 400 degrees. So in a sauna environment, you'll experience some convection like heat with, like you do with a traditional sauna. Um, the near infrared light will produce a warming of the skin as it works on the water molecules um, and encourages the cells um, to regenerate. There are no indications or studies to support that the benefits of near infrared um, really go beyond skin deep. So far infrared saunas work on a principle called radiant heat, meaning we heat the body directly. Um, the human body emits far infrared light in the form of body heat at 9.4 microns. The measure of light at 9.4 microns is called a biophoton, meaning life light. Body heat or biophoton far infrared light is the most natural method um, to heat the body, just as skin to skin, to, uh, skin to skin, skin, um, Contact is important for a newborn baby or a person suffering from hypothermia. Body heat is the natural, safest, and most efficient means to raise the core temperature of the human body. There are so many different companies out there selling infrared dry sauna kits. It can be overwhelming to, 
overwhelming to differentiate each one of them. Um, only in the last 10 years have the new safer carbon technology become available, which has revolutionized our industry. Um, prior to that, we used ceramic infrared heaters that posed a fire danger due to the fine lines and cracks that would develop in the ceramic heaters. So on the back wall, you would have these long tubes um, that were covered with um, metal to try to protect you from the 400 degree heater behind it. But the problem with ceramic is it it does heat up and cool down over time and develops these fine lines and cracks and they can turn into cherry red charcoals. Um, those cherry red charcoals I have seen um, scorch backrests. Um, and, and then there's some other um, problems with those too. Um, but we won't go into that so much. Um, we really recommend that you use um, a bio photon carbon heater. These are much, much safer and much more efficient for your body. The old um, ceramic heaters emitted um, a full bandwidth of 5 to 15 microns equally, whereas now we've been able to narrow the bandwidth to 8 to 10 microns um, and or 80% of the time it's at 9.4 microns exactly. So we are charging your body as often as possible with its own energy. So it's exactly body heat. Moving on, sidetracked again. <laughs> Um, where did we go? Okay. Uh, at Celebration Saunas, our far infrared saunas are constructed with the safer, energy efficient black carbon panel heaters. Um, they emit a narrow bandwidth of far infrared light to match the human body's production of far infrared light in the form of body heat. Um, and just to give you an idea, to of how that feels if you put your hands together flat with your palms flat. There we go. I can get them in the screen. Um, you should immediately feel the skin between your hands begin to warm up. That is a cell to cell charge. As those cells charge and vibrate, they will charge and vibrate the cells next to them. Um, that's how we deliver all of that energy that each cell needs. And they will um, use that energy to eliminate waste at the cellular level and bring each cell to a level of homeostasis homeostasis. So this vibration, you know, you're going to sweat tremendously um, in a 30 minute session of a far infrared sauna. Um, but that charging effect will happen for hours after your sauna se session all the way into your core. Now that doesn't mean that you're going to sweat for hours because your body's going to be really um, efficient at um, eliminating heat from your skin, especially when you step out of the sauna. Um, You'll find, and I find, when the weather gets up to like 100 degrees outside and I go into the sauna, I come out and I am cooler than everybody else <laughs> the rest of the day. Um, so it is, uh, it does have that charging effect all the way into your core. And that's really how we detox um, uh, toxins that are at the core of your body. So from your um, heart to your liver, your kidneys, um, things that those things that are kind of stuck in there that can't be processed out. Um, we're going to add more blood flow to that area, clean the area out, and then our body will take those toxins and eventually deposit them in our skin where they can be sweat out if, if our other organs are not able to eliminate them. So it's very cool stuff. Um, there's lots of health benefits to far and fret. Uh, let's see. Um, near infrared companies have touted the health benefits associated with far infrared, um, not near infrared. Um, let's see, we already did this. Oh, we got way down here. Okay, so a bio photon nanocarbon zero EMF far infrared dry sauna kit will gently and safely warm the body to promote healing at a cellular level to produce healing responses including a low-grade fever that kills bacteria, viruses, and parasites. In a far infrared sauna, 20% of our sweat contains toxins being released from the body versus only 3% in a near infrared sauna. Biophotons are absorbed by the body at a rate of 93%. The body will never take on more far infrared light than it needs. The health benefits of biophoton far infrared light include detoxification, heart health, pain relief, improved immunity, weight loss, um, and skin rejuvenation. So a big thing, um, next we're going to talk about EMF, which is a big thing in the industry now. Um, everybody's trying to limit their EMF exposure because some people are more sensitive to it, can make them feel nauseous. Um, 
And other people are just trying to limit how much unnatural EMF that they're exposing their bodies to. So in this section, um, we, we will uh, talk about that. Uh, from the time we started using cell phones, EMF has been a controversial topic controversial topic as to the biological effects of EMF on the body. Um, it is easy to understand the confusion and the controversy as there are two types of EMF, ionizing and non-ionizing. Ionizing um, has the ability to change DNA. Non-ionizing does not have the ability to change DNA. And what I'll put right here is that no far infrared sauna has ever emitted ionizing um, EMF that has the ability to change DNA. So we've been using this for 70 years um, and there is no ionizing radiation um, coming out of any infrared sauna, any more than your toaster or your alarm clock. Um, as a matter of fact, those items will emit more EMF than your infrared sauna and the technology that we've been able to, um, that we have today, we've really been able to um, reduce levels down to nearly nothing. Um, and you can read more about EMF. Um, there's an article on our website called um, EMF Dangers of Home Infrared Saunas, and that gives you a detailed explanation of EMF, and you can make a decision for yourself as to whether, um, you know, a zero EMF heater or just a low EMF heater is going to be the right decision for you. Um, so, um, the bandwidths of EMF have either the ability to ionize DNA or not. Um, Non-ionizing EMF is safe as it does not has the, have the capacity to change DNA. EMF is everywhere around us. Um, the electrical appliances we use, our computers, the wireless modems, um, we find convenient for accessing the internet, cordless phones, clock radios, our hair dryers, cell phones, the list goes on and on and on. Um, and they're in the walls of our home for our light switches and everything else. Um, we know that ELFs, ELFs, extremely low EMF, um, they are only found near um, high voltage power lines. Um, I know that there's some controversy as to, I know there's some saunas out there saying they are, uh, they have no ELFs um, or no ELF EMF, but no infrared sauna has ELFs, none. You, you only really are exposed to them near um, high voltage power lines. Um, la, 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 la. um, it's not uncommon to find tracks of people in the areas that are near high voltage power lines, um, to exhibit symptoms of depression or cancer, um, due to the high EMF exposure in these areas. Um, a sunburn is another example of EMF radiation that we have all experienced. We know that a sunburn is ionizing because it has the ability to change DNA. Um, so wear your sunscreen. <laughs> um, the EMF in a far infrared sauna, again, is non-ionizing and it does not have the ability to change DNA. Remember, we're just doing we're just manufacturing body heat. So this is no more dangerous than holding hands. It's even safer than the old traditional um, steam and hot rock saunas um, the, that use convection heat. And convection heat will heat the heat the air and then heat the body. And, it, and it's not very efficient at detoxifying the body. Um, temperatures can get up to like 200 degrees. And my joke is um, you can make a pretty mean roast at about 200 degrees in your convection oven. So kind of slow roasting in those traditional steam and, and hot rock saunas. So, um, approximately, um, 3% of the population are EMF sensitive and can experience memory loss, depression, loss of energy, irritability, inability to concentrate, weakened immune system, chronic fatigue, headaches. If this is you, it would be important to opt for a commercial medical grade sauna that has the ultra low or near zero EMF heaters. Um, and there's no real definitive answers as to whether or not non-ionizing EMF has, um, any impact on the health. So people who are looking to restrict it, you do want to purchase a, a near zero or medical grade, um, home sauna. 
Um, there is a chart in this article. It's the EMF in milligauze by heater type and distance from the heaters. It compares near infrared saunas, portable saunas, ceramic heaters, carbon, um, the first generation carbon heaters, and the biophoton um, carbon heaters that we have today at Celebration Saunas. Um, there's also a six minute video uh, that talks about dangers of EMF radiation in your home um, by Dr. Magda Havas. And um, why are low EMF saunas important to us here at Celebration Saunas? Um, as the largest infrared sauna manufacturer and importer of infrared saunas, your health and safety is important to us. Um, it is our number one priority. Everybody's in here to get healthy. We don't want to expose you to anything that's going to not help that. <laughs> so... Um, there's a reason that we sell 12,000 Zonas a year. We have the highest quality standards at the most affordable prices and an enviable customer service experience. At Celebration Saunas, um, our saunas are constructed with the newest bio photon nanocarbon infrared sauna technology. And to make our saunas safe, we reduce EMF levels through the use of proper gauge wiring with heavy duty insta insulation, EMF shielding, and steel enclosed electrical components, which is critical. Those of you who are looking at used saunas or any sauna um, on the market, ask if there is a steel box surrounded um, surrounding the electronic components on the roof. Years and years and years ago, and even some of our some new people coming into the industry, if you go to China and you ask for cheaper, you get cheaper and dangerously cheaper. Um, so there was a time when saunas were being built and on occasion are built today where uh, somebody said make it cheaper and they didn't put the electronic components in a um, steel compartment. So if the relay is inside, which they're typically using a relay setup if it's um, on the on the cheaper models um, and they're plastic to boot um, they can melt from overheating and then bend upwards where they can kind of cause arcing um, between the screws that are supposed to hold them in so be very wary of that that is definitely a consideration make sure that um, every company that you work with or if you're looking to purchase a used sauna, um, which we don't recommend because, you know, now you get the newest technology and a lifetime warranty. So, you know, we're going to pay for your parts and shipping for as long as you own the sauna. I mean, there's no better guarantee than we pay for the lights, the heaters, the thermostat, the power supply box, um, the light bulbs, anything that can go, uh, the control panels, whatever, whatever can go wrong um, that makes your sauna a working sauna. We're going to replace that for you free of charge. I rarely ask for um, any parts back. Um, I've had to do it one time. We suspected a customer of um, building a sauna out of their replacement parts. So that was the one and only time I had to ask for replacement parts back. Um, but um, other than that, yeah, we pay for shipping on that. So, um, EMF is important to us because quality control is important to us. That's one of the reasons that we took over the manufacturing facilities. Um, we have actually implemented all American standards um, and protocols into our factories. We've cleaned up the floors. We've cleaned up the minds of our workers. And we produce quality saunas, and we do it right every time the first time. Um, and we make it easy. Um, we just make everything interchangeable and easy and streamlined and quality. Um there is not a better manufacturer in China um, than us. And we own three of those manufacturing facilities. We produce everything end to end, including our heaters. We procure our wood from Canada. We kiln dry it in our own ovens. Um, did I say we make our own heaters? <laughs> and in fact, you know, I mean, we also manufacture for many of our competitors. We also manufacture the heaters for many of our competitors um, because we do have uh, the best heaters um, on the marketplace with the lowest EMF and the narrowest bandwidth of far infrared light available. So um, specifically tuned to your body. Um, so we kind of went over cheap sauna importers um let's see there's a chart on here about the long-term cost to own a near infrared sauna versus a far infrared saunas um from that chart um you'll find that you spend less money on electricity in the course of 10 years um that your initial investment in the sauna at 
$14.99 or not $14.95 introductory price. Um, you'll notice that there's no replacement parts associated with the cost of far infrared sauna because of our lifetime warranty for as long as you own it. Um, Near Infrared has a limited warranty of uh, three years. Replacement bulbs will need to be changed every two years, um, which actually doubles the cost of your initial purchase. Um, and we didn't compare portable saunas because you have to replace those every year. Okay. Um, in the far infrared sauna industry, industry, we have come a long way over the course of 40 years, mainly by word of mouth. The benefits of far infrared light can now be found everywhere on the web. And in the last 10 years, the industry has grown 38%. As demand in these saunas have increased, um, the price of this technology has become safe become safer, less expensive, um, making far infrared ownership affordable and available. We have flexibility in design that allows your sauna to be placed anywhere in your home. Um, in such a rapidly growing industry, um, it's important to us that our man manufacturing facilities don't substitute quality for quantity, um, which is why we've bought three now, because <laughs> we want to maintain that same quality. Um, we just needed more facilities um, to keep up with demand. So we're growing, growing quite a bit these days. Um, at Celebration Saunas, our partners own uh, three manufacturing facilities, um, which makes us the largest infrared sauna manufacturer and importer in the country. Um, as individuals start experiencing the measurable health benefits, um, people tell their friends. They want to see if their friend who has fibromyalgia or Lyme parasite or is dealing with cancer or has heart disease um, or a multitude of other maladies or just wanting them to relax and feel good. Um, they're sharing these with their, with their friends and their friends are like, Oh my God, Mary just got her sauna. I got to sit inside of it. I can't go over there three times a week. I don't want to bother her that much. I need to get my own. Um, it, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel good. It makes your health great. It'll prolong your life. Um, it's the best thing that's happened to me. So thank you all for um, joining me today and um, looking over um, and learning about um, near infrared versus far infrared heaters. Um, and we'll see you next time.